Hey everyone, you know each animal developed its own traits and abilities that increase the odds of survival, from thick armor to camouflage and just sheer strength. One of the most effective skills though, whether for predators or prey, is speed, as it either gives the edge when trying to capture something or escape from a predator. It's almost unbelievable how quickly some creatures are able to move. So from the fastest mammals to those that can power through water and soar through the skies, join me for today's video. We're going to count down the 15 fastest animal species in the world. Number 15. Springbok, 55 miles an hour. Found across southern and southwestern regions of the African continent, springboks are a type of antelope that typically grow to around 34 inches tall to the shoulder and weigh up to 93 pounds. They're most recognizable for their curved black horns and their white and light brown coloration, but they're also famous for a strange behavior called pronking, whereby they'll leap into the air to a height of around six and a half feet several times in a row, and it's not entirely clear why they do this. With as many as two and a half million springboks living in the countries of South Africa, they used to take part in mass migrations across the continent. But while this is far less common now, seasonal congregations still take place in some areas, such as the Kalahari Desert. They're mainly active during dawn and dusk and forage for shrubs and succulents. They can live in huge herds and will often be ignored by predators in favor of easier targets. But on the occasions that cheetahs, lions, hyenas, or another of the various dangerous predators in their environment decide to target them, they do have an effective defense mechanism, their speed. They've been clocked at up to 55 miles an hour and are able to accelerate to this speed incredibly quickly. This usually means that unless a predator manages to creep up and attack them by surprise, they're able to avoid virtually anything that sets its sight on them. Number 14. Pronghorn Antelope The pronghorn antelope is a species that's native to western and central North America, from Alberta in Canada to as far south as northern Mexico. Despite the name, it's not actually an antelope, and instead is the only species within its own scientific category, and its closest relatives are actually giraffes and okapi. The species holds the record for being the fastest land mammal in the Western Hemisphere, with a top speed of 55 miles per hour. And this, of course, is in response to predators such as cougars, wolves, and bears that pronghorns often need to escape from. They're able to sustain faster speeds over a longer period of time than cheetahs, and this is thought to have been a trait that developed historically when they've had to contend with other, now extinct predators such as the American cheetah. Identifiable by the striped white fur markings, they can grow as tall as 5 feet to the shoulder and weigh up to 140 pounds. If you get close enough to one, you'll notice a strong musky odor, which is released by the preorbital scent glands on the sides of the head. And usually, their large eyes are able to give them a 320 degree field of vision, which is invaluable to detect nearby threats. The biggest danger they now face is being hunted by humans. But even so, their population numbers are steady, and there are believed to be at least a million of them across the continent. Number 13. Ostrich, 56 miles an hour. With four known subspecies that are native to countries throughout Africa, ostriches are the largest birds of all, usually reaching up to 9 feet tall and weighing as much as 290 pounds. They're easily identifiable by their shape, and the males grow black feathers over their bodies, with the females and juveniles having brown feathers. Due to the size of their eggs and the meat they produce, they're farmed around the world, but they can be quite the handful to look after. That's because their legs are extremely powerful, and if one is spooked, they can reach speeds of up to 56 miles an hour in short bursts. This, of course, is something that's useful when trying to evade a predator, but surprisingly, running isn't always their first response to a threat. Ostriches, which tend to live in groups of between 5 to 50 individuals, may instead simply lie flat on the ground or bury their heads in the dirt with the hope that it's more difficult to see them. And if they get cornered, they'll start kicking with their powerful legs that can quite easily deal a fatal blow to even the strongest of predators. When these defensive tactics are combined with their incredible eyesight, it's almost impossible to catch them if they've spotted a danger, so most predators will try to sneak up on them from behind vegetation for a surprise attack, or wait until it's dark for their best chance. Number 12. Swordfish, 60 miles an hour. Typically measuring up to 10 feet or about 3 meters long, but occasionally much bigger, swordfish, which are also known as broadbills, are normally found in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, between the surface and depths of up to 1,800 feet. They get their name from their pointed, flat bills that they use to help them hunt and make them one of the most powerful and effective predators in the ocean. 
They're able to reach speeds of up to 60 miles an hour through the water in short bursts, and this pace and their agility not only means they're able to catch virtually any other animal in the ocean, but it's led them to being one of the most popular species of sport fish because of their elusiveness and sheer strength. Swordfish are just one of 22 species of fish that have organs in their heads that provide warmth to their eyes and their brains, and this allows them to see further and think faster in cooler waters than would otherwise be possible. They're also unusual in that by the time they reach adulthood, they shed all of their teeth and scales and have a smooth texture over their bodies. That's part of how they can move so fast. Number 11. Anna's Hummingbird, 61 miles an hour. Found across western coastal areas of North America, Anna's hummingbird is a fascinating species that grows to around 4.5 inches and has a wingspan measuring up to 4.7 inches. They're identifiable by their long and straight bills as well as being the only hummingbird species in North America to have a red crown. And as with most hummingbirds, they're perfectly adapted to be able to drink nectar from certain flowers with their extendable tongues. This is such a precise action, though, that they have perfect control over their movement in the air, so much so that they can fly backwards and hover. Furthermore, they're able to actually shake their bodies more than 55 times per second to rid themselves of water while it's raining, or pollen and dirt from their feathers. But their fastest movement happens during a mating display. Once a female has entered a male's territory, the male will fly to a height of about 130 feet and then begin to dive over the female. By using gravity to assist with acceleration, it'll reach a maximum speed of about 61 miles an hour before reaching the bottom of the dive, at which point it will slow slightly and produce an explosive squeaking sound to alert the female of its presence. Number 10. Sailfish, 68 miles an hour. With a top speed of about 68 miles per hour in short bursts, sailfish hold the record as being the fastest animals on Earth through the water. There are two subspecies, one that's found in the Atlantic and the other that's found in the Pacific, and are easily identifiable by their huge dorsal fin that looks like a sail and extends along their entire backs. They also have extended bills, similar to those of swordfish, and have been seen to use these to slash at their prey to disorient it before eating it whole. Sailfish grow relatively fast, reaching a length of about 5 feet in a single year and reaching double that in adulthood. With a typical weight of up to 200 pounds when fully grown, they are huge and powerful fish, which makes it no surprise that they're one of the most sought-after game species. As a highly predatory fish, their main method of catching prey is by first inflicting damage that prevents their target from being able to swim well and then moving in for the kill. Once they're full size, there are very few animals that will try to hunt a sailfish, with the exception being some sharks, orcas, and dolphin fish but they can, of course, easily outswim them if they have a chance to try to escape. Number 9. Cheetah, 75 miles an hour. Endemic to regions across Southwest Asia, South Asia, and mainly Africa, the cheetah is by far the fastest land animal in the world. There are four recognized subspecies of these cats, which are most closely related to cougars and jaguarundi in the puma family, and they typically grow up to 5 feet from head to tail with a weight of about 159 pounds. They're identifiable by their small, rounded heads and their cream-colored coats with evenly spaced black spots. They have several adaptations to allow them to move quickly, such as long, thin, but powerful legs and an unusually long tail. They keep to three types of social groups, females with the young cubs, groups of males, and solitary males. A group will establish dominance over an area and will hunt during daytime hours, mostly during dawn and dusk. Their preferred prey, which are usually small to medium in size and weigh less than 88 pounds, such as springbok and impala, they're fairly fast themselves. Cheetahs have had to develop the ability to be extremely quick and nimble, and have been measured reaching speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, although they rarely reach that peak figure. To put this into perspective, they'd be able to break the speed limit on a highway in most U.S. states and countries around the world. Damn, that's fast. Number 8. Gray-Headed Albatross, 79 miles an hour Found throughout the Southern Ocean, particularly around South Georgia Island, the Diego Ramirez Islands, and the Kerguelen Islands, the gray-headed albatross is a species that spends most of their lives swooping over the ocean in search of prey like squid, fish, and crustaceans normally growing to around 32 inches long with a comparatively massive wingspan of about 7 feet. They have golden-colored bills and are otherwise mainly white, black, and gray. 
In a single year, tracked individuals have been found to circumnavigate the globe two times, and they're able to do this because of their endurance while in flight and their speed. When they're hunting, they've been seen to reach speeds of up to 79 miles an hour, and as well as allowing them to take prey from the surface of the ocean, this also gives them enough momentum that they're able to plunge into the water to a depth of around 23 feet to continue the chase if needed, although it's rare to see them do this. Their ability to dive into the water as well as spending so much time around seawater and getting their food from the ocean means that the gray-headed albatrosses consume far more salt than their bodies require. To overcome this, they have a salt gland that's located above their nasal passage, which means they constantly release a concentrated brine-like liquid from their nostrils. Number 7. Spur-Winged Goose, 88 miles an hour Despite the name, the spur-winged goose is only distantly related to other geese and shell ducks, and instead exists in its own subfamily, mainly because of a series of unique anatomical features such as their wing and neck shape. They typically grow to around 45 inches in length and weigh about 22 pounds, and they can have a wingspan measuring as much as 79 inches. They're found across sub-Saharan Africa in wetlands and are the largest species of waterfowl on the continent. They form flocks that can have more than 50 individuals in each, and because of the need to evade predators and be able to cover huge areas during mating season or when migrating, they're extremely powerful in flight and can reach a maximum speed of 88 miles per hour. This, though, isn't necessarily the most surprising thing about the spur-winged goose, because it's also one of the only bird species that's considered to be toxic. They don't produce the potentially deadly chemical themselves and acquire them from blister beetles, which makes up a large part of their diet. They absorb this poison called cantharidin, which is present in the tissue throughout the bird and can be enough to kill a person even if the meat is fully cooked. It's no surprise, then, that they're rarely hunted by people, with the main threat to them coming from habitat loss. Number 6. Frigate Bird There are five known species of frigate birds, which are found across the tropical and subtropical oceanic regions around the world, and they're all perfectly adapted to spending long periods of time away from land. All five types are mainly black in color with white underbellies on the females, and a large red gular pouch on the males that can be inflated during mating season. But what's particularly impressive about these animals is that even though their bodies can grow to around four feet long and they can weigh up to four pounds, they develop a wingspan of seven and a half feet, which is the largest wing area to body weight ratio of any type of bird. With their wings fully spread, they're able to use the wind currents over the oceans to soar through the skies for weeks at a time if they need to, but will normally spend their days hunting for food and nights roosting in cliffside trees. Their main source of food comes from fish and squid, which they take from the surface of the water after their targets have swum up from the depths to avoid marine predators such as tuna. They've also been known to steal food from other seabirds and even chicks from the nests of other species. It's this ability to harness the prevailing winds and their need to travel huge distances when migrating that means frigate birds are able to achieve bursts of high speeds, particularly when diving toward the ocean for food. They've been measured reaching up to 95 miles an hour. This is by no means a regular occurrence, though, and they can't maintain this for very long, but it's enough to be able to capture prey by surprise and get back into the air with very little risk of being caught by a larger predator in the water. Number 5. Mexican Free-Tailed Bat, 100 miles an hour Native to the Americas, where they're either known as Mexican free-tailed bats or Brazilian free-tailed bats, this is the fastest mammalian species on Earth, and also the fastest animal when traveling across horizontal distances, with a top speed around 100 miles per hour. They get their name because their tails can make up more than half of their total length, and it isn't attached to their gliding membrane, as is the case with other species of bat, and this is part of the reason why they're able to fly so quickly. Growing up to three and a half inches long and weighing no more than 14 grams or about a half an ounce, they have large ears for echolocation and fangs that are used to hunt prey like moths, beetles, wasps, and ants. They mainly roost in caves or dark structures and will fly out at dusk and return during sunrise, and amazingly, this species is regarded as one of the most common mammal species in North America. Under just one bridge alone in Austin, Texas, there's believed to be as many as one and a half million of them in a colony, and the full number across their native territory is simply too large to effectively estimate. Just why they've developed such a fast flying speed isn't quite fully understood, but it's probably due to the fact that each individual needs to travel huge distances every night. 
A colony of one and a half million, for example, will eat as much as 30,000 pounds of insects each day. And rather than competing against each other for the food around where they roost, it's better to spread out much further. Number 4. Eurasian Hobby – 100 miles an hour Found across Africa, Europe, and Asia, the Eurasian hobby is a relatively small type of falcon, and there's currently two recognized subspecies. They grow to around 14 inches long with a wingspan that measures about 33 inches across, and they typically weigh no more than 10 ounces. They tend to roost in trees that border large open regions and prefer to hunt over farmland, marshes, and savannas. They mainly hunt large insects, bats, and birds, and will have one of the most impressive aerial displays while doing so. They'll often take on a sickle-like appearance in the sky with their long pointed wings and square tails and will nimbly dart through the air to capture trickier prey like swallows and swifts. It's this reliance on speed and aerobatics that meant the Eurasian hobby has evolved its aerodynamic and streamlined body shape and has been measured at traveling at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour when diving towards a target. They travel huge distances while migrating each year, spending the winter in Africa and Asia and summers in Europe. And because they're always on the move, they don't actually build nests of their own and instead use abandoned ones that other species, particularly crows, have built. Number 3. White-throated needle-tailed swift, 105 miles an hour. As a species of migratory bird that's native to Central and Southeast Asia, as well as Australia and Siberia, white-throated needle-tailed swifts nest in crevices on cliff faces or high up in trees and don't like spending much time on the ground at all. They grow to around 7.8 inches tall and weigh as much as 4.5 ounces and are identifiable by their barrel-shaped bodies, the spined end to their tails, and of course the grayish-brown bodies and white tufts around the throat. Feeding primarily on small flying insects, the white-throated needle-tailed swifts migrate huge distances and need to be fast and agile to capture enough food in each day, which is why when they dive they're able to reach speeds of around 105 miles per hour. As is the case with most other birds, the speed is only attained for a split second in the right circumstances, but this doesn't mean that they're slow at other times. Even during migrations, when they're flying horizontally, they've been recorded at speeds of around 70 miles an hour for sustained periods of time, making them not only one of the fastest birds of all when measuring their top speed, but also one of the fastest based on average speed as well. Number 2. The Golden Eagle – 200 miles an hour the Golden Eagle, which is native to regions across the Northern Hemisphere in Eurasia, North America, and North Africa, is one of the most recognizable birds of prey, with their dark brown and golden-colored plumage. Often building nests on cliff sides, each one's territory can cover an area as large as 70 square miles, and they usually hunt during daylight hours for prey such as rabbits, squirrels, reptile, and fish, and even larger animals like seals, badgers, or coyotes. They themselves grow to around 40 inches or just over a meter long and can have a wingspan that's well over double that and they'll weigh up to 14 pounds. They are therefore huge, which is why they're able to hunt animals much larger than other eagles will even attempt and this is part of the reason why golden eagles have been able to adapt better to environmental changes than most. Furthermore, they're generally considered to be the best flyers of all the eagles and are up there with the best of the raptors too. Their flight posture is normally with their wings in a slightly upturned V shape, which keeps them prepared to flap if needed. As they're so big, flapping is an energy-intensive and labored process for them, and while they'll do it if necessary, they much prefer to glide and soar while using natural wind currents and updrafts to do the majority of the work. Normally when they're not hunting and they're scouting an area, they'll fly through the air at a speed of around 30 miles an hour, but this all changes when they're on the attack. When it's time to dive in towards prey, they'll hold their wings close against their bodies and tuck their legs up against their tails. This allows them to reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, meaning their target probably won't know a golden eagle is approaching until it's far too late. Number 1. Peregrine Falcon – 242 miles an hour Found almost everywhere on the planet except for the polar regions, the peregrine falcon is by far the fastest animal of all. There are actually 19 recognized subspecies of this large bird of prey, each of which is specifically adapted for survival in the most particular areas that they live. And they're the most widespread raptors in the world, if not the most naturally widespread type of bird. They can grow to a size of up to 23 inches long, with a wingspan measuring about 47 inches across, and usually won't weigh any more than 53 ounces. Their backs and long pointed wings are normally bluish black to gray in color with white and rusty underparts. 
and there will be hints of yellow on their faces around their eyes and on their beak too. Peregrine falcons feed mainly on medium-sized birds such as pigeons, game birds, and waterfowl, with a recent estimate suggesting as many as 2,000 bird species around the world are regularly hunted by these falcons. While they'll take on other animals if they absolutely need to, this explains why they need to be so nimble and fast through the air, and has led to the development of their streamlined bodies that allow them, while diving, to reach speeds of up to 242 miles an hour. The falcons will strike their prey in mid-air by their talons with the impact alone usually stunning or killing the target, and they'll try to hold on and take it back to their nest, but if the prey is too heavy, they'll simply drop it and eat it where it lands. Peregrine falcons are undoubtedly the epitome of bird prey effectiveness and ruthlessness, and it's no wonder why they're seen as one of the most popular falconry birds, with humans learning how to train them as long as 3,000 years ago. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.